You all are okay with Let me get a flow open and then we're good. Yeah. I'm getting a flow open. Are you okay with getting flow? Oh, wait, what happened? Are you okay with the surrounding building? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, wait. Ward is like not doing nice things right now. Good? Ward is doing nice things now. Okay. Oh, wait, let me get a turn. Being first in office, record proves that plus just a truth with good set of Bobby Lee. But office records will have a life that's just perfect. We just could rely on the beliefs of other states. We need to survive. We face beliefs and pleasures. Goodness is by product of office records. We will have the cost even further. Our beliefs are in our ability to understand the interest of the experience of others. Commit to utilitarianism. Some set of Bobby Lee. One considering pleasure, one commitment to the good experience. Just as one can look at yellow as brightness, one can experience a bleed of pleasure and appreciate his goodness. One I consider the pursuit of pleasure. Things are better than the more just as the more various methods of pleasure. Yellow is back one has one feels good for office records. We do some heat doctors while other goods are others are bad. Second, no recognition is taken for states that are personal approval of actions. Solid has more responsibility. But all the individuals government so it's basically choice to be regular third parties and the offers of private actions office access to the between authorized and non private action becomes obscure that government formally prevents private action, but it often discourages it. Third, psychological evidence proves that we don't identify with our future selves, continuous personal identity doesn't exist over fourteen. Humans are not consistent identity, but change selves and be a seer to see our future selves and strangers that from our study brain activity where people imagine their future a self type their brain is in the brain where more activity with subjects of evidence today than the future neutral activity when they describe this little identity was similar to when they describe Matt Damon as if we think of ourselves features of someone else our decision making treatment reflects how we treat other people fourth moral and so genius preventing seizures to be our highest priority, Boston 12. Moral certainty says to us that our present may be confused if we are uncertain those who are defining for us, serving our ability to recognize future values, the confusion, growing danger, and there will be future remains is the best way to increase future value. Fit the uh, abstract questioning fails to which it's under on concrete alternatives, Brian 12. The academic left house radio is starting to critique the very poor realistic alternatives face one ultra radical critique face two, question mark face three, revolution to understand that here we would never hear make a concrete proposal on their intellectual basis saying the revolution is without objecting any other introduction of question third house radio review is easy to say, we do something everyone knows something is wrong, none of us are present alternatives. Solvency. Result the United States federal government should enter all citizens to train 18 to a large Drafted the Army National Guard and the Army Reserve like their team. I recommend that the U.S. initiate large base drafted the Army National Guard and the Army Reserve all assistance to the 18th birthday. Those called have three options for service six years in their reserve after they training in the reserve. Uh, we follow the soldiers who have for one year the commitment is concerned. Second, uh, serve two years in the active army in the Marine Corps. Third, go to the college be enrolled in the ROTC. This would improve the quality of the cross all service and the soldiers would not be eligible for any bonus since two minutes to each unit here. Small number of recruits over there would have a high quality and include every socioeconomic potential for military is unless but would continue to have responsibility for those who fail, fail to uh, fulfill the military obligation be required failure to report their deductions should result in conviction by punishment by jail. Uh, the military could be concerned for contact. That uh, will be difficult to motivate training discipline. The plan solves personnel shortages, success of the plummets, the financial burden of the ABF, like their team. Contributing creates a sustainable force that is not subject to a crisis, therefore, if we provide already access to training forces within 30 days and is able to sustain your rotations of the dire ratio of this very use of PTSD, drug use, and the other parts of violence, and we'll have time policies that contribute skill sets and it's written into the force, produce contractors and information tech intelligence analysis and language skills. Advantage one is readiness. The all volunteer force is unsustainable and will collapse all isolate foreign turned links. First, a recruitment crisis is on the horizon for France, Eastern, and eligibility are record lows, like their team. The BBC are tripled up the growth number of the asthma, which is difficult to increase the huge performance. Percent job rate with proportions able to meet the standard of military service. 30% of recruiting success as a function of the future is the percentage of the population built willing and able to serve the 10% of decline in the improvement as he translated for percent descent decline in the Lutz was Iron Prince as he was in 2011. It was 12% and 29% drops in 94. All one of the most powerful influence over the mass soldiers. Greater morale at all time with 30% of the eligible population is able to serve 12% of the living life. Only after uh, only 3.6% is likely to enter with uh, both of the crime recently. This uh, 3.6% includes only those who meet minimum quality requirements that the press press can take the growth of the military. It's going to be overused to stay when the military is going to be absolutely impossible. Second, personnel shortages. Force reliance on private contractors, which compromise Operation command and strategic capability in multiple wars like their team. The AVF cannot recruit a sufficient number to prosecute the wars that the AVF have the ability to expand the force quickly, stable to the need to contract to present tactical operation. Air's first contract is not to ignore a second contract's harm to slip. They can expect to use the service to offer their contract agents with conservative service away from military force contractors must be protected from the military when they find the slip stage situation. We suffer the contract between force and structure of the unity of operational command on the battlefield. The most of the competitive person with the must get loose of the operation as well. Color relying on the contracts of the way the DD has historically done in terms of the existing predisposition to contract basis for loss of real possibility. The military models is ready to use the contracts and not starting to be expected to be learned by the day already. Two late contracts are something worse opportunity to pay with disputes or worse than operation becoming excessive. The ABF has a blanket of forty thousand rights for those capacity developers and houses in the unlikely consent of military. The ABF requires volunteers for progress and even less of what's being at the mercy of contractors who profit rather than operational excellence. Third, the ABF is financially unsustainable. The contractors' personnel costs are skyrocketing like their team. The ABF has become unbearably expensive for depredation over the past year. The cost of personnel increased by forty six percent. Personnel costs continue to grow. The rate of personnel costs will consume the entire advance budget by twenty thirty nine. The unless the cost of transit from the ABF are unsustainable, the officials have understood the problem. Personnel costs have grown by ninety percent to two thousand one from a cost point standpoint. The ABF is unsustainable. The ABF is much more expensive than conscription and listen bonuses and recruiting and healthcare costs make the ABF economically infeasible like their team. Recruiting costs have risen four billion per year. This cost is not including listen bonuses. The ABF is generally an older person for different social costs and healthcare costs and other potential obligations for us and seventy three dependent on budget with eighty one billion and thirty 
2013 was 5 million to 6 percent a year in competitive service which personal cost for significant contribution uh, excuse me for a personal cost of person 46 percent over the past decade and fourth our military's exhaustion shortage one times an excessive requirements killed redness like 13. soldiers told employers for medical reasons for a 60 percent 2012 thousand soldiers bringing the warrior wounded warrior pregnant soldier to my was good enough on its 14th deployment there 13,000 uh, soldiers spent 14 million years in Iraq and Afghanistan 47 percent of the army personnel were deployed in the second army rated competent repeated to the combat with these more different soft loss soldiers from separating from the army at the end of the commitment since 2002 more than 120,000 soldiers have had their active uh, duty extended by soft loss and their readiness deters global conflict branch 17. without america maintaining its walls the gear to safety of the world is more likely to refer to regional global conflict, conflict which america which means that against the power of the powers are hostile to uh, international peace more broadly instead of wrong that trump has been a village in anything but america's strategic power administration has exerted more power abroad and not less in every arena with america said part of rival system part of zero in iraq china of russia moves to the southeast asia to russia's military question of ukraine and sarah uh, american retreat emboldened enemies of america the navy of the high school the democracy the middle of the early diverse money regionals with the infinite britain and france and japan they restore their historical fraction the uh, america's independence of preservation the international order that has kept the peace who thinks that they see united states can change the international that was out incurring a civil is not living in the real world and war engenders worse forms of oppression suppression of rights faulty in one activists were suddenly centered that injustice cause more of the evidence to just the cover cause other words the other way worse not a part of the single cause words that do the same other injustice if you want to just the work piece the emphasis on injustice more uh, and it's the main cause of worse seems to be empirically uh, inadequate and they did she was mental health excessive deployments cause ptsd and chronic mental health programs are problems that empiric show like 13. ptsd is a secret injury of iraq and afghanistan and rising ptsd severities are few deployments for two small time uh, studies indicate that a second of deployment is doubles the probability of ptsd ptsd and doubles the level of physical behavior and psychological ways that extends the of the percent of veterans of iraq and afghanistan suffer from ptsd 30 percent only 50 percent will get treatment the impact of suicide every day 18 veterans will take their own life like 13. at the end of 2012 uh, 482 separate deployments committed suicide compared to 2310 who died in combat the current rate of suicide in the military is to be doubled less than 2001 after doubling into between 2001 and 2006 veterans account for 20 percent of 30,000 suicide committed each year 18 u.s military members would take their own life veterans were twice as likely to commit suicide as non-veterans didn't read the terrorism impact and didn't read anything under the first impact in the bench too. Uh, Wait, what's going to be the document? One AC. One AC. Shut up. Oh, my bad. I close out. Ready? You said you didn't read tear. And, and nothing under first advantage. Or first impact, right? Um, nothing under second mental illness. Yeah, hey, you have to start. Okay. Uh, sure. So the uh, Brian evidence, what counts as abstract questioning? Uh, something that is not a concrete alternative. So what like counts a policy as a, alternative? a policy option. Okay, why are only policies concrete? Uh, because they're the only things that take into account. Uh, why is that true? Well, because the consequent the policy is uh, key to addressing the consequences in the real world. Wait. Well, okay. Okay. But why are policies the only means by which we do that? Uh, because policies directly take into account empirical realities and, and other things conditions. don't do that. Yes. Okay. So what's important is taking into account the like conditions that, or, or like resolving those material conditions. Correct. Uh, yes. Cool. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, readiness advantage. The uh, French evidence. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the warrant for? Or like, why do countries end up going into areas that the U.S. pulls out of? I guess. What? Why do countries end up going into areas that the U.S. pulls pull out of? Why are they going into those areas? Yes. Sure. So U.S. retrenchment creates a power vacuum in which other countries uh, battle or uh, engage in conflict over who is going to replace the U.S.'s original position. Um, why? What's their motivation? Uh, the one AC doesn't take a stance on other countries. No, 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 but I'm, okay, well, you're also reading an impact card, and I'd like you to take a stance on Sure, that. and the impact card evidence, or the impact card indicates several empirical examples in which, in no, which this No, but I'm asking case. why they want to do that in the first place. I, I don't know the pathologies of different countries around the world. That's okay, not our that's argument. that's fine. Uh, the second advantage, um, excessive deployment called, uh, causes PTSD. Uh, how does the op solve excessive deployment? Sure, so uh, the argument is that currently the reason why we have excessive deployments of individual soldiers is because of the lack of quantity of soldiers. The app uh, increases what that? quantity. What, hmm? says that? what What piece of evidence justifies that? Uh, several, I think that the uh, well, the first, like, ev or, or uh, the second piece of evidence in our solvency section, as well as our fourth internal link in our advantage, explain that our military is exhausted uh, and that the plan overcomes this by increasing personnel. Okay. Um, how many people do you, does the app recruit? What? How many people does the app recruit? It's not, uh, we don't have an explicit number. The argument is that we sustain, so or that we maintain the AVF, and a lottery is implemented to, uh, yeah, my question to conscript is, people as necessary. Okay, so how do you resolve things like PTSD if you don't have like a, uh, or like, my bad, how do, you, how do you resolve excessive deployment if um, you're not winning like offense as to why you sufficiently reduce the, the or increase the amount of people. Well, we do sense. increase the amount of people. You ask for an explicit number, which I don't have because okay. that number changes um, year to year based, let's, on, the let's DOD, talk about based on the quota that the DOD releases. Let's talk about Cinnabobu. I like okay. chocolate ice cream. You don't like chocolate ice cream. Is I it like good to eat chocolate ice cream? cream? What? 
I, okay, so let's say I don't like chocolate ice cream and you do like chocolate ice cream. Is it good to eat chocolate ice cream? Uh, Cinnababa doesn't take a stance on that. So Cinnababa, Cinnababa doesn't take a stance on whether like certain experiences of pain or pleasure are good? Uh, that's not true. So Cinnababu recognizes that there might be like subjective experiences of pleasure, but it still makes an argument about the universality of pleasure's goodness. Okay, starting crap. Why, uh, how do we know what pleasure is? Uh, so the argument in Cinnababu is that phenomenal introspection proves that pleasure is good. No, that's in the not same my question. Way. My question is why, how do we know, or like, how do we know what counts as pleasure? Uh, so in the same, so you know that something is pleasurable when you can recognize that the state of affairs have improved as a result of. But what does it, what does it mean pleasure? to improve? To become more pleasurable. Okay, so sounds the, like good to me. No, so the argument is that there's not a distinction between pleasure and goodness, and phenomenal introspection is key to recognizing that because I can go explain more. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <coughs> One forty-four taken. Orders two done. The case on paper will be starting to talk. I'll send it. Could I use your scan? Yeah. Cool. <coughs> Dude. I'm getting set, don't worry. Okay, let me know when everybody's good. Good. What? Oh, two then the case top down. I value morality, the meta practical reason for one different collapse of my being even questioning reason relies on a reason which concedes the authority of reasons to action theory. When one wills an action, one wills up all the steps to make it the action only practical reason to all the steps in action action theory. Come first, if one can't have a coherent theory of action, one can't generate the normal force to say that anyone ought to do anything. Next maxims must be in the universal one. Otherwise, more claims can't be uh, would lack the normal force to say that anyone ought to take an action. Two claims must come off your way. Otherwise, they're only true as a matter of chance, meaning they're morally arbitrary. Next, restrictions on freedom are non universalizable. Willing maxim requires freedom, so willing a violation of freedom would make the maxim self defeating and thus contradictory. Thus, if I respect my freedom, then I would will others to respect my freedom, which entails that I must respect the freedom of others because we all share a rational will. Thus, the standard is consistency with equal out of freedom. Mandatory national services coercive and forces people to work against their will, which employs them as a means to add to an end if they are not able to pursue their wishes. Next on. PTC is arrived on the scene, uh, all on the scene at the time in which psychiatrists attempted to, to divorce itself from the role plays in constructive the decent subjectivity. The diagnosis is a violation of the structure of the illness offered by DRSM 3 and the foreshadow of the further retreat into a bio, uh, biophysical psychiatry. Flink. What makes PTSD relevant is that it versus the public health policy at the moment that, that psychiatric diagnosis is having to distance itself from ideology and psychiatric commitment to this unfolding detailed episode of violation will be told through PTSD. It is implicitly codified as an entire psychodynamic theory. It is impossible to conceive of removing these implicit links. And furthermore, PTSD is uniquely important discussion in psychiatry because it has been used to explore this increasingly subtle model of the patient out of psychi uh, uh, psychiatric institutions, Blink 2. 
As only all official trauma disorder in the history of life, description, nosology, PTSD is different than PTSD, male trauma, not to be confrontation between incompatible types of medio, uh, medical psychiatric experience, the fact that DSM, that the, uh, the, the DSMD uh, initiates a shift closer to the, the, the pathopsychological account of mental, mental disorder is not overstating that PTSD promotes a crisis in medical experience, DSM supporting the crisis in the medicalized theory it is the most effective tendency in the reach of the Western subject of mental illnesses, flagship of the disorder is uh, PTSD, and we shouldn't allow psychiatry to announce the role plays in creating the subject. Psychiatric power is real, it has a material impact on how we perceive ourselves and others, embracing a genius logical model to build the method of the app is key. That's uh, Brack and Thomas 10. Power can be exercised through through, 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 uh, through, through efforts to discipline the selves of those who are subject to power to see the technology that have shapes to shape and guide our behavior and subject to the medicalization of madness and distress is not a conceptual problem, uh, but a but part of the deeper cultural change is one manifestation of technicalization of our way of life, ironically, if the most distrust of the psychological order of choice desires are intensified to match to certain power non subject as opposed to the self. There's no point to the kind of hierarchy. So individuals can't uh, can appear if the individual what was beneath all power is because the body has been subjected by the, 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 the subject function has been fixed on and the uh, and because and, 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 and the subject has been uh, normalized. And strategies such as the app that attempt to Liberate, uh, to, to liberate existing world of non genealogical methods evolve into a normative force of disciplinary power that further perpetuates the cycle of aggression for those that sought liberation in the first place. Kutman. Foucault never denounced discipline, yet no one would deny that discipline and their strategy bear enormous dangers within discipline. is not bad, but it, it can be put to bad use of the problem. It's not discipline. The problem is that we know not what, we can, uh, what to do when discipline goes bad. They even manifest right at the heart of those who are in a very conceptual body mind. We, uh, we often oppose with the practice of freedom and liberation. The ideas of freedom are often opposed with discipline. Liberation is really put to use if we are out of the group of discipline. Foucaultian problemization is not relying on implicit or, uh, mechanism or if there's nothing wrong with discipline itself when uh, discipline goes wrong. And, um, oh, there's something that I forgot to flash. I will, uh, like flash it right after. Turns case by focusing on physical factors, the place pushes metal to the marginalized continuation of our stigma to disability. Cohen 15. Stigma seems impossible to cross. We label the person selfish. They take the easy way out. Probably immediately treats the mentally ill, frightening stigma. Teach those who's attempted to accept many people. Many people will need help. Do not seek it. Psychiatrists uh, psychiatrist refuse to treat chronically the suicidal patients. Stopping only with the stigma, but because no institution is free from stigma. And uh, the also embrace the methodology of genealogy that frames questions, structures, and, uh, and notice the pathology is present. Uh, error for 17. Foucault refers to the existence characterized by, by critical questioning on ontology. This attitude entails not simply engagement, but critically with the present and ontology of the present. And entails uh, uh, adopting critical attitudes towards reality as ontology of the present, as well as a um, mode of concern about identifying and the, the constraints present face uh, within normalizing societies relative to both the self relations and broader relations within the world question, prevailing norms of practicality, uh, critically engaged in the ways the world in sight, and the working of the existing power relations, endeavoring to navigate these relations that they knew was uh, of living to be treated and explored. That is a way of living in the world that, that, that resists and in turn facilitates resistance against pressure towards normalization. Also, facilitating alternatives to normalize mod mod modes of existence. And K comes from my field of solution. Well, ultimately, nothing after when you vote after all we do is learn about the representations uh, that occur, which means that you should analyze the question, the scholarship that we see uh, prior to the consequences of the plan. There's a reason why the app uh, functions as independent office under the uh, AC framework. Okay, start on the Overview, uh, overview induction fails to assume that things will always happen the same way that in the future they have in the past, but this begs the question how we know what happens in the past will happen in the future means that uh, consequences is epistemic of being inaccessible off, uh, off center bob, it's super circular cross experience that they can't justify, uh, they can't justify what, uh, what a definition of pleasure actually looks like. Also, too, not so pain wouldn't be normative if it appeals for practical reason. Just because I'm hungry doesn't mean I have a normative reason to eat because I can still, uh, like, for example, reject eating a McDonald's 3. Just because I find something painful, that doesn't mean others find it painful. It means we can never be sure what a consequence is bad. Only practical reason, morally binding five, uh, a, priori, uh, a priori reason is true. We, we know something without experiencing them, like we should kill someone else because it violates their freedom to live and uh, and, and, and off some scene one doesn't take out the NC. The NC is an inaction, not an omission, because the app isn't even presented as a choice to uh, to, uh, to, to something just justifies the uh, ends of justifying the intent for that distinction by conceptualizing intent as a determinative culpability, i.e. Uh, it says that the that the act omission distinction uh, doesn't exist, but the only reason that that is true is because uh, it, uh, because it says that, con that, that, that that states intend the consequences, which means that there's still uh, there's, there's still an attempt for that distinction also uh, to empirically disprove the government can permit but still discourage things. For example, cigarettes are legal, but the government's anti-smoking ads. Now, uh, off OPR, one correlation, not causation, my brain might have acted the same way by food and puppies. That doesn't mean that they're the same too. The study's flawed. There's no way to account for infinite other things that could have been, estimated, uh, that, that, that could have been uh, simulated by the study so, uh, simultaneously. Three, it doesn't take out the NC. It's, it's, it's about freedom, not promises being made. Now, off uh, Bostrom, one no attack moral uncertainty just means that some people like utilitarians are wrong about ethics too. This presupposes you're winning util because extinction is still a consequence of action, which uh, answers back. Now, the Brian, this doesn't take out the K because policymaker can still look at the history of the app and say that it's bad, which also brings the K the prior question first advantage. Hegemony is not isn't key to peace, federalism, love, and there's no evidence to support the direct relationship between U.S. activism and security during the 90s. The U.S. cut back on the defense of the world, grew more peaceful, while the U.S. cut forth in the state believe that its security was an agent of military enhanced. No security development or armies in no regional balancing occurred. The uh, global conflict declined while the U.S. and its military, the, the only evidence to just peaceful trends are unrelated to the U.S. global policy makers. And the best out of his multipolarity solves wars four times less war prone than unipolar alternative. Montiero 12. Unipolarity is the most conflict prone according to percentage of the U.S. great powers spent on war. And the incidents of war involving the powers in multipolarity, 80% of the years were outward. Unipolarity, remarkable 59%. This is 
the highest rate multipolarity in the probability of war. If all your power war, what break that was, 4% on your unipolarity, it's 18%, four times higher. These things provide evidence that unipolarity is peaceful. And heads uh, decline inevitable, lane 12. Obama, Obama's uh, the defense strategic guide to the first step the U.S. is facing a profound power shift, which compels a rethink of the U.S. Well, the U.S. Will face, uh, will face a severe financial crisis, and new great powers emerge, important regional powers will assume more prominent roles. The, the unipolar will, will be replaced by, by, by a multiple system, called the project system. And the second advantage, the advanced problematic, the notion that there's an increased probability PTSD comes from an able body uh, notion of disability, the very existence within the military industrial complex is enough to cause a question of one of the military. The calculation of disability is an independent reason to vote them down. They think that they decrease PTSD, this decrease domestic violence, but in reality, they just have more people to go to war, and that's more people to uh, extend uh, post traumatic uh, stress complex. All really bad. Um, no, I got it. You sure? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> uh, ready? Mm-hmm. Status of the critique? Uh, what do you want it to be? Unconditional? Unconditional. Okay. Uh, is the policy the affirmative possible in the world of the alternative? Uh, I won't refer to the quote again. Okay. Uh, what part of the app does the critique disagree with? Uh, the thing that the, that, that it specifically links to is the, uh, PTSD rhetoric. And yeah. the what, understanding of PTSD. What is the app's understanding of PTSD? Uh, sure. So the... Um, link level of the evidence is pretty great. It's pretty good on this issue. No, it's, I want you to explain, independent of your own evidence, like what 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 is the app's understanding of PTSD? Sure. So the app's understanding of PTSD is one that sees it as a purely medical issue, i.e., as something that we can. What about the app? Indicates that it's an only medical issue. Uh, sure. The way that you're like, oh, there's an increased probability of things like PTSD. The argument, why, the overall why argument, why is, is that, the argument that PTSD could increase as a result of war uh, an indication that we only understand it in terms of psychiatry? Yeah, the argument being made here is that the 1AC relies on a essentially a cookie cutter model of what disability looks like, or not disability, PTSD looks like. PTSD, in context of the app, is something that we can predict. It's something that we can say, like, case by case, this is Why what PTSD is. Why is acknowledging that some PTSD occurs as a result of war uh, an indication that we only conceptualize it in terms of psychiatry? The argument is that the model that the 1AC proposes, i.e., a model in which we uh, rel- uh, a model in which we use like medical definitions of what PTSD is, which is what the first two link cards that say, uh, is, Wait, is so problematic. Wait, so how do we describe PTSD in terms of non-medical? Uh, sure. So are you? Yeah. Um, so there are various ways to describe it. The first and most important thing is that it is a uh, critique of the way that the current uh, psychological and uh, psychological study functions. Instead of using wait, uh, the why are model, we wait? So if your criticism of the way that the current uh, methodology functions, like how are we an example, or wh- why is that a criticism of the app? Uh, because the 1AC is still based on the uh, on the like uh, essentially structures in the same medical system. So this if we if PTSD also, is too uh, like esoteric, h- how should we be describing it? I don't think it's a question of it being too esoteric. Uh, the the argument that comes out of the critique uh, is that what you should be focusing on the particular instances of uh, how the subject is, is created bad? and formed. What is, is suicide bad? Uh, suicide is probably bad, but the issue is that you shouldn't focus on suicide as a like category. You should focus on the reasons why people would want to commit uh, suicide in the first place. So the app says that people commit suicide because of repeat deployments. Is that not an example of? It's an point? overly simplistic because it creates an it creates an overarching understanding of what suicide looks All like. All right. So the alternative: embrace a methodology of genealogy that frames questions of structures and norms as ontology of present. What the hell does that mean? Uh, sure. So the argument coming out of the alternative is essentially that we need to analyze the historical and methodological underpinnings of the one AC prior to the conflict in life. Also, also okay. the, the the evidence indicates. How that does analyzing our underpinnings uh, resolve the way that the status quo conceptualizes PTSD. The argument is that it takes us to a better understanding uh, of what things like the medical model should look like, of uh, what our medical system okay. should look the like. Okay, the app, we should, what's yeah. the uh, warrant, or can you give me an example, or what's the warrant for why multipolarity solves war? Uh, the argument is that other countries are able to check each other, so, and it being less of a uh, desire. Uh, what time, or like what period in history have we had multipolarity? Uh, give me a second. I can also the card reference. Never mind, you're good, you're
Wait, are you timing? Yes. Okay, can I use your timer? Yes. Yeah. I'm timing up, but. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you, uh, let me send the car that I, uh, that I read that was on the dock. Okay. Okay, card. You don't need the Stezeg evidence on Cinebabu. Correct. Also, don't need the point answer. And or. I have a minute. The order is going to be uh, the app advantages in order, then uh, framework, the critique, um, the end scene. Everyone ready? Okay. 
VBF is unsustainable with class and incoming recruitment crisis and the economic invisibility proof it is unsustainable readiness to solve great power war uh, and the after strike drive you know when this is sustainable which means an, which means the absence of uh, the gift of power conflict and or at least a power vacuum and uh, great uh, global conflict and lie on your arguments had jumped in does cause extinction your evidence in in the case uh, short term or uh, uh, short, like a uh, short uh, it decreases in hegemony for example inside the defense funding of spending not uh, the total collapse in multipolarity doesn't uh, solve war the, the, the one time which we've had multipolarities during uh, the 90s the beginning of the 1900s which led uh, was uh, during uh, World War One, which means that multipolarity is an idealistic theory, and only the unipolarity is key because it uh, prevents uh, uh, prevents other countries from uh, trying to uh, overrun each other. And hegemony decline does uh, hegemony decline is not inevitable. Your evidence is specific to uh, Obama. Our evidence, our, our French evidence, decides that Trump has reasserted America's dominance by through its recommitment to things like Afghanistan uh, and NATO. Now on uh, the advantage too, your uh, you uh, and uh, as on the advantage too, our conception of PTSD is not uh, able-bodied. In your own in your own link terms proves uh, that you, this is a performance contradiction. Your argument is that we increase PTSD by sending more people to war, but this concedes that uh, sending people to war would be a cause of PTSD. Also, the fact that you've conceded uh, the or conceded the entirety of the advantage to is a no link to the critique and uh, also an impact term because it proves that excessive deployments does empirically increase the uh, likelihood of PTSD. You've conceded that suicide is a bad thing and something we should prevent, which means uh, that uh, uh, which uh, which uh, proves that reducing excessive deployments is a key to uh, reducing PTSD. Now, on the framework, phenomenal spectrum proves that pleasure is intrinsically good, uh, which also consequentializes the NC and proves that reason is shaped by uh, pleasure and pain. Was via evolutionary program, we were uh, or was recent headship to uh, avoid pleasure and uh, pursue pain. You say that it's circular, however, it's not circular. Our argument is that pleasure and goodness is the same thing. You say it's subjective, however, uh, even if individual experiences of pleasure are subjective, it's a universal norm uh, that pleasure is a good thing. Uh, you say a priori, or priori reason, uh, a priori reason is true, where we are an example of a priori truth, but the statement that pleasure is good is a priori, and uh, pleasure shapes reason. Crossed by that argument, you say induction fails, however, the fact that science works is, is evident of a uh, metaphysically inaccurate, uh, metaphysically uh, stable uh, principle of cause. Now, on the critique, the first argument is that uh, we don't link. We don't say that there's only one cause of PTSD, rather that a cause of PTSD is uh, the increase in deployments. The second argument is that uh, the, 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 the fact that we are winning case such an impact on this argument because it proves that uh, not discussing suicide in this way just allows, or not discussing PTSD in this way just allows uh, for suicide. And the judge should be able to choose the reason for affirming no reason why every argument I have to make has to be a part of the final judging package, which has to give you athlops and strategy. So vote on the fact that the plan uh, increases readiness, not that the plan increase, decreases suicide. And uh, I should be able to weigh the athletes. Uh, uh, I should be able to weigh the app because uh, it's key uh, because any other policy moot six minutes of AC offense and resource in the round uh, uh, on the one AR that's also uh, key to policy education ancestor argument for fiat is illusory even if because in order to prove uh, even if fiat is illusory there's still educational benefits to uh, discussing the plan and and, and uh, the, you say that uh, and uh, the, in order to prove that my uh, epistemology is sound I should be able to have access uh, to the consequences because that, that's how I prove uh, that is, that's how I prove that it's uh, defensible and the case that weighs the critique uh, the, uh, the, the case that weighs the critique because it causes extinction which even if you if the size of linkage terms the impact they link to the critique is very small. Also, uh, Brian is a complete dissent to your alternative proof that you don't have any solvency because uh, the way because your all your uh, alternative tagline is just a uh, compilation of buzzwords. It doesn't actually propose anything concrete. Now on uh, the NC, the first is that uh, the, um, the, the, the you say practical reason, but doesn't prove that reason is a starting point for ethics. Just that arguments must be logical. Our framework provides a logical basis for the belief that pleasure is what can be rounded to ethics. And plastic pleasure cannot be denied. Asking why pursue uh, why asking why pursue pleasure is tautological because all values ultimately collapse to pleasure. You say action theory, but only consequentialism can justify the actions needed uh, to uh, reach of some moral end. And it's not um, string 92. Consequentialism uh, can provide the explanation for substitutability more reasons. I have a more reason to give some food ways. Oh, do you use nice words that clear? Uh, the the value of food is enabled for giving free substitutability warrants the conclusion that I have more reason to get in my car. The, the, the enabler has a property that has those seeds uh, provided the same more reason in the first place. And uh, you say universalizability, but universalizability, uh, but utility universalizable because it required any agent to uh, cho cho uh, make the choice that maximizes utility. And on uh, the uh, and, and on the offense, the first is that if we rectify violation by mandating that the burden of national defense is shouldered equally. National defense is safety that everyone benefits from, but a few contribute to free loading is not universalizable. The apples it leads to a reduction in taxes. Can you send out a new document? Or tell me what you read. Okay. Can I just tell you? Uh, yeah. prep? Or I mean, if, if you just want to like leave it over top here, that might be easy.
What was the metaphysically accurate argument on the induction fallacy? The fact that science works is an indication of a metaphysically sound principle of causality. Okay. Orders over here. <coughs> Kant case. On the NC. On the NC top down. We're good. Okay, so everybody good? Oh, I'm going to assume that's a yes. Overview the critique was only off into, uh, under the AC framework, which means that if I win the NC, if I win the NC is true, that means that uh, the, uh, it means that the effects of, of, of the K don't matter, which means that uh, 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 so, so, uh, also there's no modesty argument made, made, uh, made in the one error, which means that uh, you filter all the offices around through the winning ethical framework. So uh, I'm going to win that. Uh, I'm going to win that cons is true, and then uh, that's going to mean that you uh, vote negative. There. So. Uh, except the method of, 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 of practical reason, except that it's inescapable because even questioning reason uh, requires a reason which concedes the authority of reason, which means that even if they win their usual framework ar 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 arguments, it still collapses and devolves to my framework anyway, which, uh, uh, which means that even if I lose literally every other, uh, other argument on the framework, but you still uh, negate also extend the action theory that, that uh, whenever one wills up uh, an action, one wills up all the steps to make uh, of the action, uh, one wills all the steps to make of the action, of that action in the first place, i.e., the only way to describe me walking to that door uh, and, and ensure that it isn't just me taking individual footsteps, is, uh, but it, it, it's through, it's through the rational will that unifies my uh, walking there. And extend the action theory comes first because we can't say anyone ought to do anything if there isn't a theory of action. Now, uh, now uh, I'll answer the line valid arguments later, but now extend the universality key argument that that universal claims are key because, uh, because ethics must be derived a priori. Anything else uh, means, that, uh, means that all of our um, moral claims are only made on the basis of empirical, uh, of empirical circumstances, which are just based on random chances of the circumstances happening. Now, the, uh, ex uh, ex extend, the, uh, the extend that violation of freedom requires freedom, which means it's a contradiction, which means that it's non-universalizable. Uh, non so extend the standard of consistency with equal out of freedom. Now extend the contention that mandatory national service is coercive because it forces people to work against their will, which uses them as a means to an end, uh, means that they aren't able to have uh, freedom. Now the line by line on the like framework proper. <coughs> 
First, uh, your first argument is that conservation of logic is not ethics, but one our, our argument is that ethics uh, is that for ethics to be binding, it has to be universal. It doesn't just say that logic is good; it says that it, more, it says that moral bindingness is good. Uh, also, all, also, all, object, all, all arguments rely on things like logic anyway. Uh, uh, all arguments rely on things like logic anyway. I.e., uh, you logically have to assume that pleasure is good if you're going to win your utility favorite machines. That this that is not unique at best. Uh, uh, also, second, that's why the subjectivity argument. You can't base an ethical uh, you can't base an ethical theory off something that not everyone has access to because that makes it something that's uh, morally arbitrary. I.e., you can't tell. An agent what to do if, uh, you, if that agent doesn't have a coherent idea of what a uh, proper action is, is, is in the first place. Now, uh, next argument is that all values collapse, uh, collapse to pleasure, but you're conceding a response on the sin of obvious stuff on case that implicitly that, that takes it out. And that's that, uh, for example, maybe I'm hungry, but that doesn't necessarily mean, that doesn't prescribe your moral obligation for me to eat at McDonald's. All, all it means is that, uh, uh, because I still have the capacity to do things like uh, reflect on the action that I should take. Similarly, for example, if I were at a funeral, we would not say it's moral for me to start laughing because we need to uh, contextualize those things by reflecting on the uh, situation that occurs. Which means, that, which means that just like pure happiness is not what counts, uh, is not what counts as moral. Rather, it is our ability to contingently reason and reflect on this. Uh, now, uh, you say Simon, uh, you, you say Simon Armstrong, but. Um one uh, necessary neighbor consequences and doesn't say what is it, what a desirable and is e even if uh, even if they say that their uh, that their evidence is in the conscious states of affairs that would just assume naturals and without ever justifying it. So if I extend or if I extend responses to synonymous that takes it out. Second, synonymous uh, Armstrong doesn't justify their framework. Synonymous Armstrong not even the failure of damage to explain moral sustainability might seem to support consequences. However, this does not follow that traditional consequences can explain uh, sustainability and uh, impacts that worse. You reject the justification on face because uh, you, 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 just you, you just reject the justification on uh, face. Uh, take out the other part. And third. Action theory results in sustainability. We will all accept that would unify uh, part of our promise in the first place. Fourth, the NC doesn't like it. Doesn't deal with promises per se. It deals with uh, freedom, which is distinct uh, from the action. Now you say that you, you, you say you say that uh, utility is universalizable because you say it's just to maximize utility, but. Um, uh, first, uh, but, but, but one, you wouldn't be able to prescribe a consistent action because it's literally something that's case by case, which means that, uh, which means that it doesn't apply it's set to utilizing certain uh, to utilizing certain context. But you can't say that something is categorically wrong. Right? You can't say that things like sexual assault are categorically bad. Just that certain impacts are those uh, or where the or where the or the arguments that uh, are extended above. Now the eternal the contention is uh, flawed. It's, it says that you it's, it says that you rectify free writing, but no, uh, free writing is something that is found within contracts. I, if I don't pay my taxes, that's free writing because I'm not doing something that, that was agreed upon in a contract, i.e. I, I, in the Constitution. That is distinct from the act, because there's nothing in the Constitution that says that national service, uh, that says that we ought to perform national service, which means that that response doesn't apply on the case. Oh, also, or actually, not the case. Also, also, actually, no, JK, I'll just respond to the chat now. Uh, j uh, sorry about that. Um, just because you're rect also just because you're trying to rectify an, an account of freedom doesn't mean that the way that you do it is good. I.e., uh, I, 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 if you're still having to violate someone else's freedom, that means that the, that the action's still impermissible. Not the case, very much. Extend the argument that just because someone finds something uh, on Sinabalu, extend the argument that, that just because some, that, that, that one person finds it painful doesn't mean that someone else finds it painful uh, in, in the first place. You say that the uh, idea of pleasure is good, but no, argument is that you cannot provide a consistent image of what pleasure looks like. Uh, because of that, it means, it, mean, it means that utility isn't something that's broadly applicable across uh, multiple people. Uh, it isn't something that, that, that's applicable uh, across multiple, um, multiple people, which also answers back your, like, we are a priori arguments, because uh, it, it, it's, it's something that isn't, uh, be, uh, because it's something that you can't prescribe to every uh, agent. Right? It's not something that's agent neutral. You're, Next, uh, you, you, you say pleasure is good because reason is shaped by pleasure, but no, uh, we derive uh, no, 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 we derive things like maxims by uh, imagining what a rational agent would do in a situation that's not shaped by pleasure. That is uh, shaped by things like logical conclusions that we end up following. Now the uh, now, now the um, let's go to the NC real quick, or sorry, to the not the NC, the uh, first band real quick. Extend the multi uh, extend the multi error of, uh, uh, ev ev evidence that the uh, uh, that the, uh, that multipolarity solved war. Uh, they, they, uh, they say that, that multipolarity only happened during the 1900s, but no, our argument is empirical, very good on this issue. In the case that there is a statistical increase in war whenever you go to a multipolar system, which means that uh, which uh, also also empirical claims like this outweigh uh, analytics because it show what actually happens in the real world. In the real world, also always oh, on author polls because these are people who have actually studied it instead of just an assertion made at the top of the uh, at the at the bottom of the one AR. So I'm winning framework. I'm winning office of the framework that precludes.
order is going to be the advantage, the app framework, uh, the NC, and there'll be an overview we can go on the advantage.
say that in the fact that I think my track record would have predicted the opposite, but um, re regardless, like, so the top of the 2AR is this uh, theory argument. I, I just think you, like, misunderstand the argument you should be making. I, I didn't interpret it with the negative set as, like, I'm no longer going for it. Uh, I just interpreted it as, like, oh, if I win my framework, it doesn't matter anymore. What I thought you were going to do was be like, oh, well, you defend it unconditionally and it links to the NC or something to that effect. Because I have to imagine like somewhere in the alternative, there's like something that involves like some kind of egalitarian social picture, so something like that. Um, or point out that like a lot of the arguments in the K disprove a priori reason. Right. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I, I just like uh, I, I just um, have to kind of. I, I feel like the top of the two hours basically like, do you agree with me that this was bad? Um, and for the reasons I just said, I don't. Um, ultimately, the biggest problem I have voting AF is I, I can't draw a line between a ple everyone has pleasure and that justifies consequentialism. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it might be the case that I have reason to like eat Whataburger because it's really good, but it's not, it, but that doesn't mean like, I, I, I would want to like maximize it. Like I would want to get everyone Whataburger, you know? Um, and I know that that's kind of a crude example and it's missing some like detail and nuance to it. But my, my point is, it's just like, there's like a missing link between pleasure is intrinsically good um, and utilitarianism. And while I don't think the negative says this directly, I think that he makes a laundry list of arguments on the negative case that respond to your picture of how practical reason works. So you're like, you're like, okay, well, people people like things that are good, so that's what our reason is to act. But his whole point is that a is there's a like pleasure doesn't just like you don't just spit out like a hedonist like oh I pleasure eating Whataburger, so I'm gonna eat Whataburger ten times a day. You like rationally reflect on what that is and a way of making sense of your actions is combining pleasure with all of these other like parts of rationality. Now, it might certainly be the case, and I think the argument that you're making is like, well, all of those other reasons like reduce back to pleasure, but I, I don't really think that that answers his argument, uh, and I ultimately just agree with him that for ethics to be binding, there has to be some like stable basis uh, for making those demands. And I, I while I think that, um, well, I think that you have probably won that like pleasure is at the heart of what a lot of people do. I don't think you've won that that has normative force that can ground the government's action. And so I think the, neg the uh, negative's more uh, like libertarian picture of the government's role in this, of just kind of like letting people do things is um, like, I, I think it's just like more developed and more uh, 
like rigorously defended at the end of the debate and ulti so yeah like ultimately I just don't think that this one premise that people do things for pleasure gets you as much as you think it does given that so much of the NR is like look yes it might be the case that people do things for pleasure but you have to put that within a larger context and then generate like stable principles out of it um, and I, I guess I just don't really yeah, I guess I just don't really have an uh, argument that I think takes it that far. And I, I, in fairness, I read this Zinababu evidence, and like it's just it doesn't make that claim either. It's just like people do things for pleasure. It never really like ties together like the difference between kind of like hedonism on an individual level versus like utilitarianism on a government level. Um, so is the argument that you think is missing um, an argument as to why you should care about the pain and pleasure of others? Yeah, or or even if like, well, so uh, I, I guess what it, it's a little bit finer than that. So um, I, I and I think that the negative points this out at various points, but uh, not in the wording of your question, um, which is that like it might be the case that you like care about my pleasure, right? So like I like Whataburger, you care that I like Whataburger, but then the question is is like why would we? ask like what everyone cares about and try to like maximize that as opposed to you just being like, oh, Travis wants to eat Whataburger 10 times a day. I'm just going to let him do his thing. Um, well, isn't the argument that we can understand the subjective experiences of other people and we have no reason to think that they're different than our own? So if I like eating Whataburger and I can tell that that is an experience that improves the goodness of a state of affairs and that commitments that commits me to believe that I should, you know, in some way promote your ability to be the same. Well, so, so I think that that last thing you said is like key, right? It's like in some way promote you to do the same. I think that his point, and uh, the two hour points this out, which is that he's conceded the fundamental premise, which is that like people do things for pleasure, mm -hmm. right? His, what he hedges back against is that people, pleasure is subjective. Therefore, at any given time, like whether or not I should get people Whataburger changes depending on like who the people are and how hungry they are and a whole host of other circumstances. And while I think there's an argument to be made that, and while I think there's an argument to be made that like utilitarianism can uh, reconcile that, I, I don't think that it, it uh, like, I don't, I don't think that, I, I think his point, and this is like the number two in his little framework extension, is that if, if you allow for subjective determiners of what's right or wrong, then you wouldn't be able to base stable principles on it because like the answer to the question would continually be in flux. And I, I, I like, I, I guess maybe it's like a, a just, after I read the evidence of Sinababu and like reread the 2AR flow of like the extension of it, I, I guess I just like don't think that what you just asked is like there. Okay. Um, and so, so like I, I guess I, I guess I just view Sinababu, yeah, whatever, as like one piece of the puzzle as opposed to like the whole thing. Which is what the two AR seems to go for, um, so yeah, yeah. I'm sure they have like a much more ringing endorsement of the uh, other stuff. Cool. Um, okay. Uh, I also didn't vote on theory. I don't think you made the right theory or that at all. Um, I do think that the, I think the explanation, at least, of the cinema argument is uh, sort of like better than I think. Travis thinks it is. I also think that the explanation of the NC is much, much worse. Um, I think that if the 2 and R is nearly as sort of like eloquent and uh, coherent as Travis, then I definitely would have voted Meg. Um, I think though that the 2 and R, uh, well, I think though, like on the case of baby first, I think that she is definitely winning. Uh, there are some sort of like evolution necessitates that we like pleasure, uh, and that means that it has at least some uh, like prima facie moral goodness. The responses are just like, we do things that a rational agent would do, uh, shape my logical conclusions that we end up following. I think this is like the beginning of the argument that Travis explains, but I don't think it is uh, explained nearly clearly enough to justify um, the just like, that doesn't matter, with this like very strong rightness, goodness distinction. Um, the other response on case is just like, you don't have a consistent image of what pleasure likes, I, uh, what pleasure looks like. I think if this is described more as like a, 
Flutter was private, so like we wouldn't know how to maximize it type thing, that would be better. But if you're just like, uh, some people like one thing and some people like others, um, this is not like a particularly well-explained argument. She's just like, yeah, but we all like pleasure. Um, and it seems obvious that the app impacts of like people dying would suffer everybody regardless of their thoughts on ice cream. So I think you need like a much stronger example uh, or at least like to spin that argument much differently to make this make sense to me. Um, then, uh, like, given that the app wins, at least just like pleasure is good, uh, is sort of like the default util, um, then the NC debate is still like a thing, of course. Um, I have a couple problems with this. I just like don't think, oh, you all can go with Fine. Do you mind, Lawrence? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to dip out on your own. I'll just echo Bennett's thoughts really quickly. Yeah. Wait, can, can we just get straight to the part where we tell like the comments about like what could have been improved and then give the rest of the decision? You should say that the K leaks, or the NC leaks. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So my quick comment is, I thought the one AR when it was efficient was really in, was really efficient, but there are a few parts where it's inefficient. So like the pleasure argument popped up like four or five separate times. Sure, yeah. I think those arguments should have there. Are the few arguments I would have incorporated were param on the K, K links to the NC, yeah. the hedge yeah. stuff. You should have been like take over like authoritarian takeover from like Russia and China sort of gets rid of most of the offense on the hedge debate, and extinction outweighs should have at least been in the one AR. Okay. All right. Totally yeah. um, the NC. Uh, I think that like maybe the explanation of like we reflect on reasons uh, is okay. I don't think it is explained in a way that like perhaps at all coherently justifies Kant to me. Um, so the explanation in the one and C that I have for like that means universal law is uh, some sort of like uh, otherwise it's just a matter of chance and it's the only way to make it like normative for others. Um, and, like the second, the latter of those like makes some sense to me. Uh, the explanation in the 2AR, or 2NR, is literally just, um, otherwise things would be based on empirical circumstances and random chances. This um, is not a reason that our maxims should be universalized. It's just a reason that like, uh, we should have like some non-contradicting like moral principle. So I think you need to explain like much, much more clearly the uh, like universal law justifies day on argument. Um, and I think that the 2AR gets, like pretty much just gets away with being like, Util is universal. It is one law that like, does not contradict itself, uh, which means the law does not depend on depend on uh, what you call random empirical circumstances. Um, so I think some just like maximum focus argument, uh, would get you much closer to that. Um, I think the like action theory arguments get you close to that, um, but you have to like more clearly explain the link between the two. You're just like an action is unified by. Uh, like the whole thing happening at once, um, but you need a much more clear explanation of like intent unifies that, um, which justifies maximum focus slash day on, instead of just uh, like more or less describing Kant as a principle of non-contradiction, um, which is I think like a misunderstanding of Kant most people have, but I think given the explanation in the two and R, that's like pretty much what it sounds like. Um, anything else I wanted to say? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's um, I also think she might just be right, or sorry, I think she also might just be right about this, like, you saying, uh, like, to ask the, like, fellow male explanation argument at the top just proves, like, we should have logical arguments, um, but that doesn't justify, uh, like, universal maximum focus. Um, so I think you sort of explain, like, the bare bone structure of a con argument, but then let her get away with, like, a lot of spin based on a lack of 2 and R explanation of the, like, more important parts that take out the end. Yeah, so... And it's hard to use longer than mine will be, um, mostly because I'll just echo a lot of the sentiments. Uh, the general idea that I have is that um, there is like parts of this two and R that would constitute an explanation of the theory, but very little of it, I think, sort of interacted well with the app. I think, for example, the action theory stuff just is there, but like, what is the implication of action theory post the two and R? Not exactly sure. Um, I think, like Bennett says, there needs to be more explanation for that, for instance, or sort of like this development style, like begs the you know value of reason, and then the app is just like, I'm gonna hijack that and just be like, yeah, the app meets it, it's like, you know, pleasure's good, uh, it just means that like arguments need to be consistent with reason and stuff like that. And you like don't do enough to like sort of get out of the app, sort of spin out of these sort of things. Um, so I just think there's uh, a disconnect between a lot of your arguments and applications to the app, how it takes out the app, how it creates those sort of um, mutual justifications. So I'm inclined to think that on the advantage debate that the app is just going to win, that this advantage is true, that a power vacuum causes great powers to, uh, intervene, retrenchment's bad, um, the sort of transition war itself is bad. Um, I think that you don't have a good answer to this sort of like evolution shapes reason argument, which I don't like, uh, like 
know if this like actually makes any sense or whatever, but like there's not much of a response to it. And I don't think most of your answers to the sort of pleasure stuff make that much sense because most of them are just like pleasure is kind of subjective, but there's not much of an impact to that. Like you don't really take the time to sort of impact that out to like that could lead to contradictory maxims. I don't think you spend enough time explaining like why that means utils impossible because you can't know other people's pleasure or pain. I don't think you spend the time explaining like why that means like utils incalculable or something like that. I um, mean, just sort of assert that it is subjective and I don't catch much of an implication from that argument. Once again, like with Bennett, once I think that sort of pleasure matters at least to some degree, I'm inclined to default util. That absent a sort of much more unified explanation of the NC means that, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think the like, unified explanation is an important part, uh, or at least for me, because I think you're extending like perhaps all of the necessary arguments, but there's just like no explanation of what they have to do with each other. Yeah. On the other hand, I thought this was a really good debate. Ever since I judged you last year at Grapevine, you've come a far away. Semis of Green Hill, it's uh, very impressive. I'm sure you'll continue to do well, so congrats. Thank you.